Hello and welcome to another review. Today we are showing you the Doro Phone Easy 410 GSM. Uh, this phone is ideal for the elderly people who are looking for a good, basic and easy to use mobile phone. Uh, the beauty with this phone is it's also M3 slash T4 earring aid compatible. And I think that is an absolutely good winner and bonus I think for this phone. Uh, I have to say that the style and design of this phone is absolutely outstanding. The white and green, I really do love it. It's really, really nice. Just look at that. Really, really stylish. Just open it up as well. Give it a run around. Just look at that. Really, really nice. Don't you think? I do. Uh, while right open, anyway, uh, as you can see, this phone has a large keypad with separated keys, a clear and simple menus, so each of the menus are simple. It's a colour display and a resolution of 176 by 220. It has large text on the keypad for easy dialing and messaging, uh, plus an extra loud a handset volume plus 35 decibels with a speakerphone and vibrating function as well. So as you can see all the texts are nice and large on the keypad. The keypad is also backlit so you press the key all the keys light up which is another nice thing on these phones. So yeah it does really help you having a large uh, text and large keys it just makes things a lot easier uh, especially for the elderly people out there. Uh, other features included on this phone, if I go through some of them now, is uh, on the front here you have two status lights. Now the first one is this bottom one here which is a message light. And what that does is if you have a text message come through this light will start uh, flashing. So it lets you know that you have a text message and it's ready to be read. And the one above that is a battery indicator uh, light. Uh, what that is, is basically when your battery goes low, your top light here starts to flash. So it lets you know that you, know, you need to get your phone charged up. Uh, also, on the side you have your uh, up and down or plus and negative buttons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are handy to help you scroll through your menus, and also to turn up like your volume control. The other, there's another dedicated key inside, which I'll show you now before we get on to the one on the back. Uh, this one actually is a silent key. So what that does is if I press and hold that key down, as you see, it turns it onto silent mode. So exactly what it says, it makes your phone more silent. As I go back onto normal operations, you just press, you press and hold it, and you come up saying normal mode on, so your phone is back to normal. Now your last dedicated key is on the back of this phone, which is the uh, really beauty of these phones. It's a emergency function key, uh, which I'm going to come back to later on and explain a bit more detail about uh, this key. The other good thing about uh, these uh, phones is, and I really love this touch by uh, Doro, is they also include a neck loop. So this allows you to attach this to your phone and you can hang this phone then from around your neck. I, I really do think that's a nice touch by uh, Doro to include that. I think it's a, it's a brilliant idea. So yeah, I really do appreciate that. Really, really good, nice touch. Uh, the standby time on this phone is up to around 280 hours and the continuous talk time of up to 240 minutes. Uh, the menu, if we go into the uh, menus, you see it is coloured. Oh, there we go. It is all coloured. Each menu also tells you exactly what it is, because it's got a name. Another nice thing is it's even got a nice picture to tell you what that menu is. So, say for example, phone book. It says phone book, then above where it says phone book, it's got a nice picture of a phone book. So again, it just makes it a bit easier. Uh, the phone book, by the way, you can uh, add 
is where you obviously add your contacts. But you can store around uh, 300 contacts. Uh, each contact uh, can have three different numbers, like your uh, mobile phone, home, or office. Uh, in the phone book, obviously, is also where you uh, select your number to call. But once you select a person to call, if he or she's got uh, multiple numbers, uh, you can actually then select which number you wish to dial. And again, it's got a nice picture next to each number. So the top one is your mobile phone. Uh, the one underneath that is a house. And the one underneath that is like an office block. So it tells you exactly which number is for what. So that's another really nice touch, I think. Again, your other menus the same like that. All got uh, the words and the pictures to say which uh, menu it is, like the messages. Obviously, it's got a picture of an envelope to say it's the message. Uh, talking about your messages, by the way. So, sorry if I'm rambling on a bit. Well, you're not, but I need to explain these features to you, then I? Well, your messages here is where you can read and write text messages. Another good thing about the uh, Doro e Phone Easy Phone uh, 410 is it's also you can receive photos. MMS. So that's another good thing. Uh, call logs is where you can see all the call logs made and received. It's another nice thing. Alarm. Uh, this is where you can set up uh, a wake up alarm. So you can obviously access like an alarm clock basically by your bedside. So you can set your alarm on here and you will go off at that time. Uh, you also got a calendar. Uh, this is where you can view and add different tasks. So if you need a reminder to say you need to go to the dentist on the 3rd of February, say, uh, you just stick it into that date and it will remind you. Uh, calculator, sacrifice like size on the tin, we can do uh, a few sums if you need to. Uh, FM radio, it's where you can listen to the FM radio using the included headphones. Uh, these headphones also is your hands-free kit, so that's really, really nice. I've got to say as well, the sound quality is pretty impressive as well for, for a phone, it really is. Uh, settings is where you can obviously change all your phone settings. And there's some games, that's right, you've got two games on here. Now if you go into them, you have a robot and UFO. Uh, both games are coloured as well, because remember it is a coloured display. So yeah. Great games as well, I think. So yeah, that's basically it for your menu. But if we go back into your settings, and I'll show you a couple of things. Uh, in your settings, obviously, you can change stuff like your wallpaper, ringtones, messaging tones, alert, type, and volume. Um, which if I show you the volume now, you're going to be impressed at how loud this is, trust me. So you're going to turn settings, volume. So now, listen to this. As you can see, that is loud. As I've already said, it's has got an extra loud volume on this particular uh, handset. But also in the settings is emergency. Now remember me telling you about the emergency function key on the back? Well, this is where you set it up. It's an emergency menu in the settings. Now then, the emergency function, you might ask, well, what is it? Well. Exactly what it is, it's emergency help basically. What you do is you go into your emergency settings and you set up a pre written text message. So you go in there, you set up any sort of message you want. So you could say, oh, I need help, can you please uh, get in contact with me? Or I need to help, can you phone me? Or maybe you need help, can you please come uh, home? Because I'll need your help. Something simple like that. Uh, then what you do then you also program five phone numbers in the menu then what happens then is once activated if you have a foresight and you need help or any kind of emergency that you need help you basically press this quickly two times then what you would do now is it will make a loud sound to say obviously it's activated then it will send that pre-written text message to them five telephone numbers. 
obviously it has got to be mobile phone. So each one of them contacts will get your text message, but then once it's sent that text message, it will also then start to phone each of the five phone numbers that you programmed into this phone uh, one at a time. And you will keep rotating each of the telephone numbers until somebody eventually answers the phone. So again, I think that's a really nice touch for this. And again, that's why it's really ideal for the elderly people who can be a bit uh, fragile, who maybe have a fall and they've got this, you know, hanging around their neck thanks to the included neck loop. And they need help. And then all they've got to do is press this and they know that they can get help, basically. Uh, again, it would keep dialing them phone, them five telephone numbers, uh, one after another, and you keep rotating through the list until, again, someone eventually answers or into your council, the emergency function. Uh, but yeah, I think the emergency function is a great add-on for the uh, door of our phones. I really do. Overall, this is a great phone, and I do really recommend this, especially to the elderly people out there who is just looking for a good but basic and easy to use mobile phone. And don't forget, this is also Bluetooth enabled. It's also compatible with M3 slash T4 even aids as well. So yeah, absolutely brilliant and I definitely do recommend this phone. Uh, I'd also like to thank the PR team for sending me this to review. I do appreciate it. And, uh, I do hope they're pleased with the reviews I've been doing for them. So yeah, definitely do recommend this. So, if you are looking for a good, basic, but easy to use mobile phone, uh, maybe for your elderly parents as a gift, or maybe for yourself, then definitely check out the Doro Phone Easy 410GSM. Well, that's it for me, and as always, you can follow me over at www.geekstech.co.uk, twitter.com forward slash for geekstech, we might also on youtube.com forward slash geekstech, which is where you can also uh, subscribe and rate our videos, which we do appreciate that as well. And we're also on facebook.com forward slash geekstech. Uh, we've got podcast.geekstech.co.uk, which is also where you can subscribe to our podcast account. But if you've got any other questions or queries on this, or maybe anything else to do with technology or gadgets, then please do get in contact with me at wayne at geekstech.com dot co dot uk